Hello and welcome again to Fox Comics in beautiful downtown Marion, Illinois. And we are unpacking part of this week's comic book order. Uh, today is Tuesday, November 16th. All of these items will go on sale Wednesday, November 17th. Uh, with the rest of the order, uh, Independence, uh, Dark Horse, Image Comics, uh, Ablaze, all of the smaller publishers, their comics should arrive by um, Friday of this week. So um, a little problem at Diamond Comics with a computer glitch. So we're hoping they get that fixed and get our comics to us. In the meantime, we're going to show what has come in, and we're going to talk about, uh, we have uh, quite a few uh, graphic novels that are, have come in and are coming in over the next week and a half, and that is in preparation for our Black Friday weekend special, which will have 20 and 25% off graphic novels and trade paperbacks. We'll have several comic book artists in here selling uh, prints and uh, sketches that uh, can be done uniquely for you at a very affordable price, good people. And uh, so we look forward to that. That will be Friday and Saturday after Thanksgiving. Um, and so let's get started on some of the books that have come in that you might be able to save on if uh, you get them that weekend. We're going to start with uh, Grant Morrison's All-Star Superman trade paper, Joe Hill's uh, Basket Full of Heads, uh, hardcover, Killing Joke Deluxe Edition, hardcover, uh, from DC, Batman Three Jokers, hardcover. We got in a complete restock, uh, multiples of all the new 52 Batmans. Sean Murphy's White Knight series and Curse of the White Knight series. Crisis on Infinite Earths. Uh, Flash and all the other major titles uh, from Rebirth have been brought in. We did a restock. We got these in last week. Um, sold through a, a dozen of them and we got in uh, another dozen. Um Injustice Gods Among Us, Year One, trade paper. Uh, Tom King's Mr. Miracle, trade paperback. Teen Titans Raven, uh, which has been selling phenomenally well. Alan Moore's V for Vendetta and the Watchmen Deluxe Edition, trade paper uh, as well. So all of those, plus a bunch of the Absolute, the higher dollar graphic novel series, all of those are, are in and more coming between now and then. Let's get to the comics that have arrived so far, which will be mainly Marvel and DC with a little bit of uh, some small publishers with. We're going to start with Amazing Spider-Man 78. Bay, uh, which I'm guessing is beyond tie-in. And uh, there's the uh, Momoko variant. And... Um, then next from DC, we have the Prelude to Aquaman, Aquaman the Becoming, uh, and that is uh, issue three. And there's the um, variant for that. Batman, issue 117, still in uh, uh, Fear State. And uh, the variant cover um, cardstock variant is there. And the 1 in 25 variant is right there. The Fists of Violence, hard to punch. I thought that was pretty cool. Also from DC, we have Batman Secret Files, The Gardener. And uh, there's the um, variant cover. And yet another cover. And then from DC Black Label, we have Batman vs. Bigby, A Wolf in Gotham. And this is issue 3. And there he is shredding the Robin uniform, which I think is really, really cool. Uh, from Scout Comics, one of the few small publishers that we get uh, from distribution other than uh, Diamond. Uh, Black Cotton, issue six. Black Panther Legends, issue two. From DC, Blue and Gold, issue four. From Scout Comics, Commander Rao. Issue 1, and there's Commander Rao uh, variant. From Marvel, Dark Ages, Issue 3. And the Issue 3 Dark Ages variant is right there. Uh, also from Marvel, Darkhold Wasp, Issue 1. And uh, kind of a whimsical variant cover there. 
uh, the Fantastic Four Anniversary Tribute, uh, celebrating 60 years of F&F. And, &F. and uh, that's that cover. And then we have that variant, kind of a throwback, which I like. From DC, we have Green Lantern, issue 8. And the cardstock variant for Green Lantern, issue 8, is right there. Also from DC, issue 69 of Justice League. And the cardstock variant on Justice League 69 is right there. Marvel brings us issue 4 of Kang the Conqueror. Also from Marvel, issue 3 of Kazar, Lord of the Savage Land. From DC, we have Legends of the Dark Knight, issue 7. And the Legends of the Dark Knight issue 7 variant cover right there. Also from DC, a book about working at Fox's Looney Tunes, issue 263. And then from Scout Comics, issue 3 of the Lunar Ladies. Uh, and then from Marvel, we have Genis Vell, issue 1. That looks kind of intriguing. Also from Marvel, we have Moon Knight, issue 5. And we have the Native American Month variant for Moon Knight, issue 5, right there. And then yet another variant right there for Moon Knight, issue 5. Uh, from DC Black Label, we have James Tinian's Nice House on the Lake, book 6. And a fantastic variant cover there of Nice House on the Lake. Also from DC, Nightwing, uh, issue 86. And there's the variant cover there. Also from DC, Nubia and the Amazons, issue 2. And there's the variant cover, the I Like Big Butts and I Cannot Lie cover. Uh, from Scout Comics, we have Redshift, issue 4. And from DC Black Label, we have refrigerator full of heads and if you wonder what how that manifests itself right there you go there's some heads also from dc new this week robins plural issue one and um there's the robins issue one variant cover from marvel we have issue six of shang chi and there's the shang chi variant cover right there from Ahoy Comics, we have issue four of Snelson, Comedy is Dying. And uh, Marvel brings us issue 17 of Spider-Woman. And there's the great variant cover for Spider-Woman issue 17. Also from Marvel, Star Wars, Dr. Aphra, issue 16. And then we have the 50th anniversary of Lucasfilm's variant right there. From DC, Suicide Squad, issue 9. And there's the variant cover for issue 9 of Suicide Squad. Also from DC, Suicide S Squad, King Shark, issue 3. And there's the variant cover, which I think is fantastic. Uh, also from DC, issue 5 of Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow. And there is the variant cover for Supergirl, Wo Woman of Tomorrow, issue 5, right there. Uh, also from DC, Superman, Son of Kal-El, issue 5. And there's one of the variant covers for issue 5. And there's... Yet another variant cover for issue 5, the Lee in Hyuk variant right there. Marvel with issue 10 of Sword. And there's the Sword variant right there. Scout Comics releases Thud, issue 1. And there's the variant cover for Thud. DC releases Wonder Woman Evolution, issue 1. God awful variant cover that DC should feel ashamed to have released. And then from Marvel, we have issue 25 of X Force. And finally, 
the Native American Heritage Month variant for X-Force issue 25. That's all for the comics and trade paperbacks that have arrived today. Uh, keep in mind, like I said, Black Friday weekend will be our next event. We'll have comic book artists in here drawing, and we'll have uh, 20 and 25 percent off graphic novels and trade paperbacks. Uh, we hope to see you at Fox's soon. Thanks so much.